Keeps getting more better. I love her accent. Whoever whoever came up with her accent, good fucking job. What's this? Special furnishing gift? Special gift you obtained in London, right? Containing a most excellent furnishing for the realm within. Ooh. Navigate. Wait. Wait until two days later. Fuck. I I physically waited two days. Here. Day after tomorrow. <laughs> now it says tomorrow. Nope. Still day after tomorrow. There we go. I have never had dim sum at Shinua Kiosk before. Oh yeah, Shinua it Kiosk. Be quite the feast for sure. Wait. Ooh, and that's Paimon's stomach right on cue telling her it's time to go find Gami. Let's go! Wait, 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 wait. We've been to Shin uh, we've been to the kiosk so many times and we've never had a dim sums? Fuck off. Fuck off. This is like the easiest thing to order. This is like the easiest thing to order. Oh, fireworks are being set up. Kites are flying, fireworks are set up. Let's go. Whee! Oh, Gami! Who wants to hang out? Uh. No, I don't, I don't care for you. Enter kiosk. <laughs> Climbs the door. I wanna enter! <laughs> oh, you're here early. I just ordered. The food should be out in a second. Uh, sit down, sit down. Let's all take a seat! Oh, hell yeah, I'm sitting here, next to Gaming and Farrakh from Paimon. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. <Thank> Animation. <laughs> Oh yes, animation. Wait, uh, <laughs> you weren't supposed to drink that, Paimon. Oh. <laughs> that was for you to rinse your utensils. <laughs> that was water with soap. <laughs> Is that a thing? It was water with soap. <laughs> You're not supposed to drink that. Uh, you talk. As you talk, hot piping dim sum dishes arrive uh, at the table one after another. And just when you think that all the dishes have been delivered, the hostess brings over a generous bowl of seafood conch. Oh, that's wow, cute! Wow, so much delicious food! Do you really eat all this just for breakfast? <laughs> that's just how we do it where I'm from. Most of the time, though, I don't eat lunch after dim sum. Oh, that's good to hear. Paimon doesn't need to worry about holding back then. Eat, this, this, eat. If it's not this enough, is, this is gonna be a thumbnail. Oh, <laughs> and there's tong soy coming as well. I don't usually have that in the morning, but well, since everyone's here, I just had to order it. <laughs> what about you, traveler? Is the food to your liking? Uh, want some more seafood kanji? Let me refill your bowl. Paimon's gonna take you up on that. What? Fill it up nice and full, and make sure she gets a few. He seems kind drink. of off. He seems kind of off, like he's trying too hard. Uh, everyone picks up their chopsticks and begins to dig in. Each dish tastes exquisite and is uniquely flavorful. You slowly start to relax as you enjoy pleasant conversation over a satisfying meal. This goes on until even Paimon can't eat another bite. Yo, we filled ah, Paimon up. So full. That meal was so satisfying, it even gave Paimon some extra brain juice. <laughs> what? It gave what? you brain juice? Paimon's figured it out. Figured what out? Let's think about this for a second, Gaming. You invited us to this awesome restaurant and ordered a whole table full of expensive dim sum just for the three of us. Well, you must be hiding the fact that you're some young master from a rich family. That would explain why you try to keep your friends and family away from each other. That's the brain just talking, Paimon? <laughs> Are you confusing me with Xingqiu? Yeah, exactly, right? You sure know a lot of people. Hmm. 
well, when you're on the road as much as I am, you hear all sorts of rumors. Sometimes they're true, sometimes they're not. What it comes down to is being able to tell the difference. Fair. More often than not, that means knocking on some doors to find out for yourself. Fair enough. No better oh, source than the direct you source. Truly are a man of many talents, young Master Gaming. Okay, okay, enough with the teasing. <laughs> Sorry to burst your bubble, Paimon, but you're wrong about my family situation. What? Oh, Paimon thought she was on to something there. My dad is just an ordinary tea merchant. Small scale stuff, you know? It wouldn't even make sense to mention his business in the same breath as the Feiyun Commerce Guild. Okay. My dad, he always wanted me to inherit the family business. Uh, to be a merchant like him. But that's just not who I am. That's not who I ever wanted to be. Gaming always seems so happy and carefree. This is the most serious I've ever seen him. This topic must be very important to him. Have you ever yeah, I mean, about it? think about it. Like, you know, about your interests and aspirations and stuff. His dad wants one thing. He's like, no, dad, I'm not gonna play basketball. I wanna of sing I and have, dance. Man. I mean, I told uh, him I wanted to be a wushu dancer. He does. <laughs> that I wanted all of Tavat to see what I could do. Oh, I was making and a high school musical dad, joke. Though, that wasn't a real job. Hmm. Just a child's pipe dream. Oh, that's terrible. I'm sure he thought I would come around eventually, but wushu dancing has always been the only thing I wanted to do. Give up your dreams and aspirations. One day, or work in the family he business. He tried to get me to visit some other tea merchants to start building the right relationships, but I refused to go. We got into a huge fight. We, we were this close to throwing hands. Should have. In the end, I was so angry that I... I ran away from home. I haven't been back since. Uh, don't get on my case just yet, okay? And it's not like I think I'm completely without fault. That's no, okay. I know that it wasn't the right way to go about things. Shut up, throw hands. My dad's stubborn. No matter how hard I tried to convince him, it just went in one ear and out the other. There was no changing his mind. True. I knew talking would only get me so far, but if I made it big and leave you a harbor. The results could speak for themselves. Mm. But I'm sure you both already know how that's going. Wusho dancing's just not that big in Liyue Harbor. Mm. In the past, I would go door to door from store to store, asking if they would be interested in hiring a performer. Most times, I wound up eating nothing but humble pie. <laughs> Fair enough. And you can't just rely on dreams to put food on the table, right? So I found a job as a guard to make some money. And now I have enough to get by and then some. Still, change takes time. Gotta take it slow, you know? Yep. Paimon understands. I mean, as long as you don't give up and keep okay. trying, Monday you might reach it. serious talk. Our tea's getting cold. Ooh, let's do something fun this afternoon. What do you say, huh? I'll organize. Uh, if we're going Come dancing, me. sure. kind of already have plans this afternoon. Oh yeah, we're going we to the workshop. Shin Yun that we would go to her kite making workshop. Oh. Are oh, you poor boy. In kite making, Gaming? Oh no, it's just that I happen to know Auntie Shen Yun. Auntie Shen Yun. Auntie's no way to address the oh my. <laughs> then <laughs> Auntie that Shen Yun. Kyle certainly humanizes her a bit. <laughs> Auntie Shen Yun. <laughs> oh, I know that she's an adeptus. I met her during a delivery once. But hasn't she been in the city lately? She's even tried, with some limited success, to change her terms of self-address or something like that. <laughs> she came to see me a few days ago to ask about luminescent dyes. Oh, wait a second. She doesn't plan on putting those on a kite, does she? Is that not something you can do? It's one thing to use it on cloth, but applying it to paper is another matter entirely. Why couldn't she tell me what she wanted them for? She does seem to have trouble with that sometimes. Mm -hmm. She's very sick of It's such a shame if everyone works so hard on their kites only for them to get ruined in the end. Okay, I'll go with you. If Auntie Xian Yun wants to use those dyes in a kite, the formula will need to be changed. Great! The more the merrier! <laughs> Auntie Xian Yun. Motherfucker called her Auntie Xian Yun. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, if he doesn't call her that to her face, I will be upset. <laughs> he better woke up, Auntie Shenyun. That would be the absolute best. Oh my god, so far. 
Oh yeah, it's on her mountain. Christ. It's a day of trekking. <laughs> we reach tomorrow. <laughs> Oh, Gan, you have a flower for you. Enjoy food. <laughs> oh, she set up a table, a single table. <laughs> she set up a single table. Oh, Gan, you sleep. Can you? Can you? Come on, wake up. Some friends have arrived. Hey. Hello, friends. Hello, insomnia goat. I have some mint oil. Perhaps we should try that. A guest at Wanmin restaurant recommended it to me. I've tried it. Its stimulative effects are much stronger than what can be achieved from chewing on mint leaves alone. Okay. <sighs> she needs coffee. I can I can TP quick to, to Fontaine if you need some coffee. Motherfuckers gave some ASMR to to gain you Sims. Apologies in advance. Is she gonna punch her? Wait, Shenha, not there. You see Shenha take out a small green bottle, extract some minty smelling liquid, and apply it to Ganyu's. <gasps> oh no! <laughs> yeah, yeah, I won't look on in shock. Mouth's a gay, but can't stop her in time. <laughs> <laughs> Why do her horns? See, it worked. She's awake. Does does she eat Are you food? Okay, on you. Do you need some water, or or maybe something to eat? I I'm fine. I just feel chilly all over. <laughs> I was ready oh. to see her smack her. Was it that effective? Chilly, huh? Hmm. The master always says a cool head leads to a calm heart. So does this mean that heat's what we need to help you, Ganyu? I can hear. Uh, uh, I mean, um. I doesn't think that's what the expression means exactly. <sighs> I, I feel a bit better now. Lovely. Was I asleep? Must have been around the time I usually take my midday nap. Ah, fair Did enough. you not sleep last night? That does seem to happen to you often. Hmm. Perhaps you should come work at Wanmin Restaurant with me. We get off at ten on the dot every night without fail. I... I could never. I'm sorry. I seem to have missed your name. You are... <laughs> me? My name is Gaming. I work as a guard for the Secure Transport Agency. Gaming. The name sounds familiar. I believe I've heard your name mentioned around the Ministry of Civil Affairs. People Wait, did we, tell me did we know Shenha works at Wangming? Worker, and you are very generous with your help. Uh, well, you know me. <laughs> or, uh, I guess you don't. <laughs> My name is Ganyu. This is Shenha. And this is Yao Yao. Pleasure. It's an honor to finally meet you all. Oh, you must be here for Auntie Shenyun's kite making workshop, right? Auntie Shenyun! <laughs> yes. I have neither made nor flown a kite before. As long as Master is willing to teach, I am willing to learn. Me too! I want to participate in the kite flying competition with my best friend! Plus, it's more meaningful if you make the kite yourself, right? I guess. Your best friend didn't come with you? Chi- uh, Chi-Chi? Well, Chi-Chi's been super busy helping Dr. Chi -Chi. Baiju lately. I'll meet up with her later and give her a huge surprise. Cool. Oh, I also brought bandages and ointment with me today. It's easy to cut yourself when working with bamboo, so I thought I should come prepared. Wow, cool. you're really thoughtful. As for myself, I'm afraid I lack some of my companion's enthusiasm. Oh? I was originally planning to buy a ready-made kite and just enjoy the festive city atmosphere with everyone. I mean, that's also fair. But Cloud Retainer is always going out of her way to look after her juniors, wanting us to have the best there is. She always puts us before herself. Aww. Oh. 
Mom? It was so thoughtful of her to arrange this workshop. So I simply couldn't let such consideration go to waste. My motivation for being here might be a little different, yes. But I'm ready to put in just as much effort as everyone else. She's ready to make her mom Whoa, happy. That's we're cute. Here. Well, where the heck is Shen Yun? Shouldn't she be here by now? Who is it that speaks of oneself in such an ill-tempered tone? Oh, come on! You clearly heard Paimon! <laughs> Master stopped to buy grilled tigerfish to share with everyone. Come get it while it's still warm. <laughs> oh, Paimon's hey, you Sorry. illuminated bird! Paimon always knew you were the smartest, coolest, and prettiest adeptus. Someone as wonderful as you is sure to have brought enough for Paimon as well. Right? Paimon, shut up. <laughs> I, I love this other child is just detached visually from the rest of this group. Everyone else here is a playable character and Paimon, and then there is that child NPC. <laughs> <laughs> but mommy went to bring us food. Clara turning her sets down her bags will shoot you hands out grilled fish. As everyone begins to talk, lively conversation fills the usual tranquil environment at Mount Aokwang. Aokwang. Uh, Aokwang. I don't know. I don't speak Chinese. But mom went to bring us food. That's adorable. appears that we've ended up with quite a few participants indeed. Go ahead and divide yourselves into small groups. The Dummy. materials are over here. The regular dyes and luminescent ones have been clearly marked. Use them as you see fit. As for how to make the kite, one assumes you all made sure to listen to the instructions one provided while we were eating. Yes? Are there any questions? Paimon may have focused a little too hard on the eating and less on the listening. Yeah, I'll be the one making it anyway. I knew she could count on you, traveler. Fucking always eating one for my rations. under this tree and avail oneself of the cool air while one digests. <laughs> Do not hesitate to seek one's company if you have any trouble, questions, or simply want to chat. I filled myself too much. Let, let me have a nap. <laughs> Why don't we go see what the others are up to? Bro. Bro. Girl, I... I I'm gonna just lay here after eating. Mmm. Rest. Gaming? Hey, Gaming! Want to team up? Huh? I have to participate? I thought I'd be done for the day after adjusting the dye formula. <laughs> You're that unenthused by kite making, huh? That doesn't seem like you. Yeah. No, it's not that. It's just. Eh? Yeah. Your dad sells them. <laughs> it would take too long to explain. I guess I'll just make one then. <laughs> what shape? Too much go? effort. How about a butterfly? To, butterfly symbolizes desire for freedom. That's also what I'm searching for. <laughs> what do you think, Shuyu? Is there a particular design you want? I want a swanee. The fuck's a uh, swanee? That might be a little hard to pull off. True, but I still want to try. They're super cute. <laughs> okay. The it's fuck was a swanee? Then. Is it a fish? Was it a fish? We'll talk with mom last. Uh... Um, Shenhe, it would be great if you could refrain from putting things on my horns from now on. They're really quite sensitive. Oh my god, they're I really see. giving material to fanfic my writers. Apologies. I shall remember that in the future. They, they gave, they gave them snoring. No, they gave, they gave Good. them. My horns are sensitive. Bro. Could I touch them just once more, though? No oil or anything this time. I've just always wondered what Miss Ganyu's horns. Oh my like. fucking god! They're really feeding Please, them. I told you, just call me Ganyu. Uh, well, all right. Just be gentle. Why are they feeding them? <laughs> Firm to the touch, with no discernible temperature. Oh, not unlike certain medicinal plants I've eaten before. Don't you dare bite it! Still. Ganyu appears to be shaking like a cat whose whiskers have just been touched. I should stop. Uh, you can keep going. I see. <laughs> then I'll apply the oil to your forehead next time. Oh, no need. I'll just refrain from taking afternoon naps outdoors. Not a bad <laughs> idea. Anyway, we should probably get started on our kite. It won't be long before Cloud Retainer comes to check on our progress. Perhaps 
Perhaps we should just choose the most traditional style. Yes, okay. Jade Chamber. <laughs> wow, they seem to be getting along swimmingly. Let's not disturb them. But oh my god, they really do be feed, feeding freaking... They, they, re they really fed Ganyu Sims. Like, they gave, they gave Ganyu the outfit. They... Like, my horns are sensitive. Mm, it's really attached there. And they're that snoring. Oh my fucking god, dude. Like... Ganyu Sims be eating well this event. Yo, yo. Auntie Shenyu. <laughs> Auntie Cloud Retainer. Auntie Cloud Retainer. <laughs> Am I doing it right? Oh, I'm mm, happy she's okay with it. Very good. Your frame is nice and sturdy. This design, is it a finch? Yes, because <laughs> Chi Chi loves yeah. finches. <laughs> she whistled. <laughs> One is looking forward to seeing your finished product. She whistled. What color are you going to make it, Yao Yao? Like a uh, finch color. I haven't decided yet. If I make it blue, it'll be more like my friend. But if I make it gold, it'll be more like me. How about both? If you are asking for one's own opinion, one would advise choosing gold. When giving a gift, the key consideration is the recipient's feelings, is it not? One imagines your friend would much prefer a kite that reminds them of you. Oh, I hey, imagine, I auntie. I told you the kite was for Chi Chi. How did you know? I mean, I know you. With age comes wisdom, child. One simply has a way of knowing things. Oh, cool! <laughs> Thanks, Auntie Cloud Retainer. I'm gonna start painting it gold right now. Good. She's so One kind. Watch. She. Oh, my, she's you so two kind. You seem strangely unoccupied. One was under the impression that one was supposed to be doing the relaxing. Is your kite finished? <laughs> Mom caught us red-handed. <laughs> Run away. <laughs> Run away. <laughs> Bro, I left Paimon behind. <laughs> I just run away. <laughs> First, we have to decide on the shape. Hey, what are you laughing at? I'm just thinking. The obvious answer is to make a Paimon shaped kite. <laughs> oh, that's not a completely crazy idea. It represents <laughs> food. <laughs> this a bit. How about this? The word Paimon means the guardian angel of travelers. Mm, you gave yourself a new title, huh? You build a kite frame. <laughs> it's fucking Paimon kite. <laughs> now, what expression should we give her? Since the kite is going to be flying super high in the sky. I made a Paimon shaped kite. <laughs> You should look pleased with her. She should look pleased with herself. She should look afraid. She should look guilty about something. Oh boy! All three of these are all three of these are great. She should look pleased with herself because Parma's always looked pleased with herself. But it would be fucking hilarious if she just looks afraid and it's like, ah, I'm so high. <laughs> Should look guilty about something because <laughs> she ate too much food. Nah, I should look pleased with this. Like this? <laughs> the title of champion kite flyer is mine. You don't have to yell. Sure. Now that we've decided, let's make it happen. No, no matter what Paimon will draw, it will look like the same thing. Can't see the face. I would have to say, Kai Paimon might even rival real Paimon in terms of cuteness. Mm. Now we just have to attach the string, right? All right. Around his neck. Gather around, everyone. Oh, Shinyan's calling us. Bro, we made Paimon-shaped kite. <laughs> what the fuck? We made a Paimon-shaped kite. Aunt, auntie. Hmm. Let one take a look.
Wow! Oh, and Shenha made a scissor-tailed swallow. It's so pretty. They yeah. they just made Cloud Coming. Retainer. Makes it look a lot like Master. They just made Cloud if Retainer. If split in two like that, it might even be a spitting image. Uh, if you look closely, there are a few spots where the colors go outside the lines. Did you doze off while painting it on you? I did the painting. Oh no. I stared at the paper for quite some time, but I simply could not recall the coloring of any bird. <laughs> Except Master. Oh. Or should I say that I'm too familiar with her crane form? <sighs> Even when she stands before us in human form, all I can see is blue and white. <laughs> Bro. Oh. Well, now that you mention it, Paimon can see it too. Exactly. Just blue and white. So I simply closed my eyes and painted from memory. No way. You, you can paint with your eyes closed? Wow. The disciples of Adepti really are something. You are most filial, Shenhe. One is flattered by the likeness. Aww. <laughs> She's the happy her daughter the drew her. you made looks very majestic. I'm sure it'll look even more impressive as it soars through the sky. Mm -hmm. The eyes and ears glow in the dark. So you're sure to see it at night. Oh, they Here put the illuminated paint. Too, Yao Yao. <laughs> yeah, Chi Chi will be it's happy. All thanks to Auntie Cloud Retainer's guidance. What about your kite, traveler? Uh, I made Paimon. <laughs> the smug look. <laughs> Paimon. <laughs> hmm. Its self-important countenance bears a striking resemblance to that of its namesake. You mean get Guardian Angel <laughs> Travelers? Look like she's already won the competition. <laughs> yeah, that's the point. Well, that's gonna happen one way or another. <laughs> <laughs> Is that you think you're gonna be... The Jade Chamber? The Jade Chamber? Oh. <laughs> it fell again! No! <laughs> Explosion. <laughs> I will have order. <laughs> Dares attempt such a flagrant display of impropriety by releasing a kite into one's territory without one's permission. Listen, oh, bird. To do so by making use of this crude piece of mortal machinery. It probably Ooh, flew away. One simply must know who it is that possesses such impertinence. Well, look at that, a bird. <laughs> Continue attaching the strings, everyone. One will be but a moment. Uh, it. it... Cloud retainer? It it probably just snuffed Traveler, off a string. Paimon, could I trouble you to go after Cloud Retainer? Master's going to be okay, right? Yeah, yeah I'm she's more worried about the person who released the kite. Yeah. Looks like we can glide over. Oh, is this, is this what I got? Fuck, should have made should have made her look upset. Should have made her look scared. <laughs> Would have been funnier. Got it. We flew like a kite. Hmm. This Fontanian device of mechanical oh. <laughs> motion is quite curious indeed. Oh, it's the boys! Now is hardly an opportune time for your musings. Someone among us was not sufficiently attentive, and now the kite has vanished. <laughs> Calm yourself. Do you have any recollection of its last location? <laughs> One it's her friends. It drifted in the direction of Mount Outsong. Ah, oh, fuck. Perhaps it is mere happenstance, but one feels a certain sense of dread <laughs> at the thought. <laughs> Your know. concern is misplaced, surely. Nope. Now She's coming to kill you. in the city looking after her disciples, or secluded in her abode attending to her research. <laughs> she will not notice that kite. <laughs> on the subject of said kite, however, one simply must remark on the genius of its windless lift technology. One cannot help but surmise that its ingenuity rivals uh -oh. that of Cloud Retainer's creations. She's there, she's Still there listening, time. isn't she? If Cloud Retainer were to hear you profess such a thing, we can both say farewell to any further use of the Supreme Cuisine Machine. <laughs> One presumes that this kite belongs to you. Uh. <laughs> Regard uh. the situation with which we are now confronted. 
This is all your fault. <laughs> One's fault? One seems to recall that releasing the kite was no solitary endeavor. Yeah, but you were talking Say shit. Mountain shaper. Surely you can think of something to appease her. Listen, Murkava. Her explanation shall only fan the flames of her wrath. It would be better to stay silent and retire at the earliest opportunity. <laughs> Don't we say shit, run away. Forever. That may suffice during lantern light. But what about the Moon Chase Festival? <laughs> Sooner or later, she will discover our true identity. <laughs> Stay silent, don't say shit, and we run away. <laughs> this is exactly how me, my dad, and my brother <laughs> face our mom when she's angry. <laughs> Just don't say shit, turn around, leave without making eye contact. <laughs> oh my god, this is the fucking best. I love her. I love this whole family thing. <sighs> Hello? Go retrieve the kite. <laughs> Absolutely not. You retrieve it. <laughs> that is not our kite. <laughs> oh, so an adeptus such as oneself is mistaken then? Ah, you're an adeptus? <laughs> Please forgive us for any impropriety. Oh, I truly fucking... possess no inkling of who could have released a kite into your esteemed domain. <laughs> Pray, who could be responsible for such wanton behavior? Verily, verily, we were but delighting in the surrounding scenery. This locale is home to such exquisite... <laughs> ah, mint! <laughs> well, and if that's all, then we'll just be on our way. Huh. We finally caught up. You sure do fly fast in your illuminated bird form, Chinyan. Moon Carver? Mount Sheeper? Yes, we dr we blown the cover. <laughs> you. <laughs> she. Okay, now Paimon's getting a weird vibe. Did she say something wrong? It is of no consequence. Long has one seen through their disguises. One was simply curious as to how long they would keep up the act. Oh, she wanted to know how long they would like him. <sighs> I'm fuming. How one feel anger at the sight of two old friends enjoying themselves. One is also well aware of how enticing these city novelties can be. Aww. We were simply consumed by a fit of festive spirit. Seldom do we get the opportunity to partake in the delights of the times. However, we are far from being as adept as you in matters that require a deftness of hand. No worthy kite could be born of our own making. Thus, we could only take the convenient route, so to speak. Your prowess in mechanics is unparalleled. Then come over to the workshop. You wield the wind and waves themselves. Mm -mm. Your singular talent stands okay. unmatched across the land. Okay, stop brown nosing me because your well face aware. is just covered mm. right now. One has guests to attend to. We will have to convene again some other time. But don't stay strangers. Traveler, Paimon, do try to keep up. Oh, uh, but, but. We're leaving already? Oh, all this flying from place to place is wearing Paimon out. Uh, guys. <sighs> it seems that one's concern was misplaced after all. Think? Then should we continue flying the kite? I wanna keep playing? <laughs> A splendid suggestion. But yes. it would be advisable <laughs> to change locations. Perhaps your mountain would suffice? It is more than spacious enough. A fine idea. A fine idea indeed. Bro. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Dudes thought she's not home, so they would play in her backyard. Whoops. <laughs> Here she is. Um, why am I loving this so much? Why is this so, like, just perfect? <laughs> Whoever wrote this, 
Gold star. Gold star. Stay silent and retire. <laughs> Don't say anything. Just go retrieve the kite. I, I go retrieve. You go. <laughs> oh, that is so fucking funny. Uh, where's my kite? They're back. Hello. Hi. <gasps> my mind's pooped. Uh, <laughs> Shut <what>? myself. <laughs> Why are there only two of you left? <laughs> After you left, absolutely the browning. <laughs> tired themselves out playing with their kites. Gaoming offered to escort them home. Oh, what a good guy. Wait, he left Before without he me? Left, he said something that I don't quite understand. Yeah. Oh, what did he say? He said, A kite is always tied down no matter how far it flies or how high it soars. Its tether prevents it from ever truly flying free. Oh boy. He's getting existential on us. He dejected as he said this. He's getting existential on us. Now that you mention it, Gaming did seem to have a rather strange attitude towards kites. In in this specific shot right now, Shenha's eyes are just terrifying. A reflection of himself. Yeah, oh, long story. If I were a kite, I would cherish that tether as a symbol of kinship and the bonds that tie us and... Yeah, he views them as something that holds him back. Shenha? <sighs> It may be an exceedingly slim and distant connection, but lose it, and you lose that which links you to home. If Gaming truly sees a kite as a reflection of himself, then I fear I understand his words even less. Well, people often have different points of view depending on their mindset and experiences, right? It's actually quite normal. Just like some people can eat spicy food, but others won't go anywhere near it? Yes, Wang exactly. Ming is rubbing off on you. That's why tolerance and understanding are as important as they are. Uh, tolerance and understanding? What brought about this conversation? We got here first? Did one miss something? We got here first. We were just chatting. Who just said don't keep up? You don't have to butt in on every little thing, you know. Where were you anyway? Paimon, you don't have to be mean. Hmm. One was merely doing a bit of cooking. Oh, yay? Night fast approaches. If you are otherwise unoccupied, one would entreat you to stay and eat before you depart. Can we stay the night? <gasps> we can it's share our bed. So long since I've had the chance to enjoy your cooking, Cloud Retainer. Uh, worry not. One has prepared a variety of meat and vegetable dishes. One is more than familiar with everyone's culinary proclivities. <laughs> does that does that mean that Shen had developed a taste for meat and just doesn't go back to flowers? I call the Pimon's portion. Hey, Pimon's hungry too. It's not like the dim sum and grilled fish could keep her full the whole day, you know. Shenha, Ganyu, come with me. Whoa, what's with all the secrecy? You're not trying to play favorites, are you? They are her daughters. If you're ready to serve the food, we can help too. Girl, they are her daughters. Whoop, that's a swim. Oh, did she go to give her give them outfits? Like I also brought you girls gifts. I thought these clothes would re look really nice on you. You wait outside. The cloud retains the boat for a few moments. Yeah, boy. Yeah, buddy. They dressed up. Damn, girls, your mom has a good, good taste in clothing. Oh, I can feel the wind brushing against my legs. <laughs> She's used to this wearing tights. This is embarrassing. Oh my god, she's so red. Yep. Is the headpiece secure? I should have asked Cloud Retainer to check before I stepped outside. Mm, Ganyu Sims are eating well this event. <laughs> I look hot well, and I know look? it. Huh? She asked them just like that? You look great. You look pretty too, Ganyu! Oh, how should Paimon put it? Uh, you both 
look so elegant and refined. Those outfits really suit you both. I, I love that Shen Ha is striking a pose. The services of the best tailor in all of Liyue. One would expect nothing less. Good. What colors have you been partial to lately, Shen Ha and Ganyu? Shen Ha and Ganyu. Why is Cloud Retainer suddenly asking about what colors we like? I like what I'm wearing. <laughs> I like black. <laughs> one is gratified to see one's disciple has inherited one's own taste. Bro. <laughs> the color black doesn't get dirty easily. A virtue I've come to value recently. <laughs> <laughs> and you, Ganyu? It's not even I that she likes blue it. And black. It's not even that she likes it. It's just and the that... material is sufficiently comfortable. Yes. Oh. Yes, very. She bought her I daughter's dresses. I thank you enough, Cloud Retainer, for this gift and the kite too. Thank you, Master. That's adorable. One is content as long as you are pleased with the gift. One hopes these garments will see much use. Don't go to work, Shenha. Don't go to work in it. I, I don't think you're supposed to eat the shell. That's a good thing Gaming isn't here, or Paimon would have to duel him for the food. You know, with chopsticks. <laughs> It'd be a close he match. He traveled all this way on account of the kite making workshop, and he spent the whole afternoon looking after Shuyu. One was hoping to treat him to a meal. <sighs> oh well, one will just have to extend one's thanks in person. Hmm. It's rare for someone to make such a good impression on you, Cloud Retainer. He's such a good boy, isn't he? <gasps> One has high standards. W will she try to match him he with her daughter? He's a young man of much merit, and one is not the type who would see such potential squandered. Hmm. It appears that he wishes to break free from the kite string that tethers him. Kite string? Huh, what strange metaphors you speak in, Shen He. Ever since you returned from one mean restaurant, your turns of phrase render one at quite the loss. Where do we even begin? Oh, do you know about the conflict between Ga Ming and his uh, Paimon, 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 why are you sharing other people's secrets? That's not your thing one to tell. One has only heard that the two are not on good terms. He ran away from home and hasn't been back since. Oh? Yeah. Ran away, you say? Huh. One believes we would all benefit from a more thorough retelling. Start from the beginning. Paimon, it's not our oh, thing to share. Okay. Paimon just hopes he won't mind. If you hope he won't mind, then don't start talking about something that's not your thing. God fucking what? damn it, Paimon. This shall not do. Huh? Lantern right fast approaches. We must make haste. Oh? As one was contacting various tailors around Liyue, one could not help but be reminded of Minogius. The fuck's Minogius? He possessed a singular talent for clothing design. Oh. He had an exquisite oh, that eye, guy. not just for fabric selection and color pairing, but also for what accessories could best accentuate a garment's overall styling. He, he made At your outfits, I know. At Bonanus once complained in Bonanus. to some of the ladies in attendance. <laughs> That the skirt Minogius made for her was too long and impractical, lamenting that it would only hinder her in battle. However, when one asked Minogius his opinion, he remarked that the train of the skirt would serve to enhance her adeptal countenance by exemplifying a certain elegance. Minogius was that type of person. When it came to topics relating to garments and accessories, not even Rex Lapis could best his stubbornness. <coughs> and later... Yeah... <clears throat> uh, one seems to have strayed off topic. Yes, Mom. One means to say that Lantern Rite should be a day of reunion. It is a time to address problems before they turn into regrets. Oh, you want to... Okay. Okay, you don't like seeing them fighting. Okay. Fate is fickle. The cruel reality of this world is that suffering and misfortune can befall any of us without design or reason. If there is a chance for young people to remain insulated from this reality, one should do one's utmost to make it so. That's nice and all, but 
Do you have any ideas, Cloud Retainer? Hmm. Perhaps Adeptal Arts could be of use. Oh, no, no. Mechanics, perhaps. Mm -hmm. Hmm. One fails to see its use in a situation such as this. Is there anything I can do to help? Hmm. Hey, will you marry the boy? Combining what? <laughs> efforts is a fine idea indeed. Aha! One has an idea. Cool. How about this? Does that make sense to everyone? Oh, come on. Yep. Oh, Paimon really hopes this works. Hmm. One's designs never fail. Now then, I counsel rest for all, and to make the necessary preparations. One shall see you in two days. Hey, part two, finish. But oh my, I I loved every minute of that. Why was this so fucking great? I loved every minute of that. Collect.